Hey guys, this is James from uh, TDB bringing you in between episode number 12. Um, so this episode, uh, depending on how well I do at just talking randomly, uh, will probably be a little bit shorter than normal. So I'm really just going to be talking about essential teaware for Gong Fu brewing. Um, and so the reason I'm going over this is we get asked this question all the time, like literally all the time, like once a week, whatever. Uh, just like what you need to do uh, basic brewing. Um, so everyone's familiar with the Western brewing method and stuff like that. And so there's all these different like tea utensils and crazy things that you can buy on eBay and stuff like that. But, and I mean, even just looking around my tea table where I got this hot plate and the tetsu bin and like, and like things to put the tetsu bin on and like this bowl and who knows what else. And I have my old whole other group of periphery teaware like this random tray that seems like it's borderline useless so in other words it's easy to go overboard or convince yourself that you need a lot of different things to do gong fu brewing and so what I'd really recommend for people starting out is to buy the basics buy the few things that you need which is not hard which is hardly anything at all start brewing that way, and then add as you see fit. There's no need to buy this all-inclusive uh, gong fu brewing thing that comes with like an Yixin clay teapot and like a gaiwan and all that stuff for $150 or $200 um, right away. Absolutely no reason at all. Um, so for anyone, unless you fold money or if it's a gift or something like that, uh, but, for, but really, all gong fu brewing means is it's a um, short steep time with a lot of leaf. So you can get one of those Piali things that would honestly probably be the cheapest way and uh, you can buy those at Yunnan Sourcing for about 10 bucks and I would recommend Yunnan Sourcing for everyone that doesn't have access to a good Chinese or Asian market um, if you're looking for the cheapest product. The only issue with Yunnan Sourcing is that the shipping will take a bit so alternative options are their U.S. site, which doesn't have as much selection, or eBay. So that would be the cheapest way. But a lot of people, myself included, like to dabble with more, I guess, what you would call traditional vessels or stuff like that. So don't bother with an Yixing teapot. Definitely do not bother with an Yixing teapot first off. Get a Gaiwan. So how much did these little guys sent me back? Six bucks. Got them in the local Chinatown. So shop around, see if you can find something like that. I'm lucky enough to be in Seattle, which has a uh, good Asian markets and stuff like that, good Asian population. But if you're in the Midwest or if you're in Texas or somewhere where you just don't have access to those things and shopping online is really the only option, uh, buy from Yunnan Sourcing, buy from eBay, something like that. There's really no re reason to ever spend more than uh, 10 to $15 on a guy one. Do you need a cha hai? No, you really don't. Why, why not just pour straight from the gaiwan into a cup? There's a lot of different advantages to having a cha hai, mainly looking at the liqueur, uh, which I have since realized this is extremely dirty, so you can't even really do that particularly well through this. But um, And it also will serve the purpose of once you steep into that and then pour into your cup, you will have poured twice, so the liquor the uh, the liquid will be a little bit cooler, which could be nice depending on how you do your sort of tea flow. Um, you need a cup. It's nice to have small cups, although you could obviously make do. If you have like espresso cups or something like that, those will do absolutely just fine. That's actually how I started. Um, and you need some way to get water hot. You could literally use, just boil some water on the stove. I have I've seen people do that, and it's, it seems, it crosses me as a little bit out of date, but you could definitely do that if you're just starting to uh, get going. I actually was just in uh, Vegas where I was staying with my relatives, and they seem to have every single piece of kitchenware but an electric kettle. So you could definitely make do with that. I would recommend picking up an electric kettle. If you like to brew green tea, you could consider getting a variable temperature tea kettle. But if, you, if you're still on a budget, buy your $15 to $20 kettle, pour into the cha hai, which will lower the temperature, or pour into a vessel, and you could just pour between vessels to lower the temperature that way. So even then, a variable temperature kettle 
it's not necessarily 100% um, necessary for you to do your Gong Fu Brun. And so uh, I think I will probably be doing a second episode similar to this covering kind of the peripheral tea wear that I find to be particularly useful for those that are probably a little bit further into their tea journey than someone just starting out. But really, I'd advise everyone to just keep it simple. There's no need to buy a tea tray. I don't even use my tea tray that much. I use it for TDB episodes, and that's about 80% of the function of my tea tray. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Please let me know what you think. If you'd like to see more of these sort of very practical basics, uh, tea basics episodes. Um, and thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys next time.